What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to learn how to set up a variable subscription in WooCommerce. So the first step is to make sure that you have or WooCommerce subscriptions plugin activated. So if I scroll down, I got the WooCommerce subscription plugin not only installed, but also activated. Cool, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a new product. Okay, um, for this example, I'm doing a, a soap company um, that we recently developed and they have a product called Dude Soap. So I'm just gonna call this Dude Soap subscription. Sweet, um, I'm not gonna fill in the product descriptions um, or like the, fe like the features or the video. Um, so scroll down to product the product data section and you'll see right here that you have the option to have it be a simple product or um, a variable product, group product. So make sure to choose variable subscription, not variable product. This is gonna be a subscription product, so make sure to choose variable subscription. Okay, the next step is to, is to go to your attributes tab and we need to tell WooCommerce how we're gonna make our variations. So we have our product and we need to make uh, an individual variant for every month, every two months, every three months, those are gonna be our billing periods. So I'm gonna click add next to custom product attribute and then I'm gonna add in, you know, I'm just gonna call this billing period. I'm gonna add one month, two months, three months and you notice how I separate each billing period with you know, this sign. Um, so, and then I'm also gonna make sure I click use for variations because we're gonna create an individual variant for each of these attributes. Cool, I'm gonna click save on the attributes. Awesome, so now that you see the variations tab now shows up and I'm gonna scroll down and click create variations from all attributes, click go, click okay. Three variations added, that's exactly what I wanted. And now I can click into each one of these variants. And if you have a SKU, you can add it. So I might call this, you know, um, soap, dude, you know, one month. And I'm just gonna put the price at, you know, nine dollars every month cool and i'm gonna scroll down we're we're not tracking stock status we're doing that um in an inventory management system but if you had you know different weight dimensions if you had a free trial you could have those things here um then i'm gonna go down to the this every two months billing period and i'm gonna add in the skew you know soap dude two months and i'm gonna add you know we're just gonna charge $9 if people wanna subscribe every two months. Sweet, and then I'm gonna go down to the third one and go to put $9 in and do every third month. Sweet, so before I click save changes, I just wanna make sure that this is every third month, which I have right here. This is every, made a mistake there, this is every second month and then this is every month. Sweet, so I sound confident about that. Each product has a SKU. And now I'm ready to click Save Changes. Awesome. And now I'm ready to click Publish. Awesome. And now when I pull up my product, I see the product Dude Soap subscription and I have the option to subscribe every one month, two months, and three months. And right now, um, you know, if you don't want the customer to have an option out of the gate, if they can see the one month, which I would recommend because it requires the customer to do less clicks and maybe they won't get confused. Um, so make sure to ensure that on the Variations tab, you put a default. So let's put default one month. Sweet. And if you didn't add a default, it just would 
default to the choose an option text. Um, but if you do one month, it's going to show that price and then I can add it to the cart and be on my way to subscribing to this, this product. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'm Simon from SG. See you next time.